or 18 inches. And a slight gas read. About 1.2. Let's see what the oxygen is. 15.4. So we have a little bit of low oxygen. See if it drops. So 15, 15, 6 over 1, which would be a good reason why this tree looks healthy and the one across the street is dying. Let's try one on the other side, closer to the service line. And we'll take readings on either side, about 3 feet. 36 gas up this side. 36% on this side, but hardly any on the other side. Right, because the service line's right here, going this way. And the leak, I think, was up this way. So now we have a very low oxygen reading over here, 3.6. But right at the tree, uh, there wasn't gas. So as this tree grows and gets bigger, uh, it's going to be getting into this uh, unhealthy area in a short period of time. Let's try over here. We had a higher gas reading here. And something under there, so we'll stop right there. You'd feel it. But that's okay. We'll still take a reading here. It's a little bit shallower, but it could be an old tree root. There's no mark out here. Actually, looking at the sidewalk, it probably is the tree root. Yeah. And there is gas here. 40% uh, gas. 8.8. .8. Let's say about 9% oxygen. 18% oxygen, there's the alarm, so we still have a little bit of low oxygen, but it's coming up in this area. There's no gas, so there's no hazard up here. We had a 5% gas reading that vented down here with 15 oxygen. So we had 5% gas. 23 feet from the house. And street to curb is, uh, I'll, I'll round that up, it's about 30 feet. Continuously paved area up to the structures uh, makes it more of a hazard because of in frost conditions, it can migrate right underneath this asphalt and get up close to the building. You have a service line that runs right up the side here. So there's all kinds of things here. This is a uh, definitely a grade two leak. And the grade two means that it's a potential hazard? Potential future hazard uh, requiring uh, monitoring until the uh, leak is repaired. Here's the leak. We can finish this up with some, uh, a few measurements. 5% uh, gas, 23 feet from number 24. Uh, we should also take a measurement from that house also. Uh, three inch. That's a three inch tree. And this one's two and a half. City of Newton, two inch, Frax Pen Cimarron. 24.01, and that was a three inch tree now, because it's been in for a little bit. Now we'll just put a little bit of shading in here. So this is 25, so the gas goes like this, 13 oxygen, two gas. So the gas goes like, that goes right in here like this, right by the valve and then down like that. And this one goes like this. We have five gas there, 40 gas there, and then it drops right down by the tree like that. And you can see what's happening is if you look at the leak, I'll shade it and you'll be able to see. And by doing this, the person can actually see by the report the suspected or actually documented leak migration area. Uh, 
tested with a combustible gas indicator which is calibrated the first of each month according to manufacturer specifications. But the gas, if you look at the terrain here, the gas migrates uphill. So that's why the gas is kind of going up this driveway. We have a service leak across the street with high gas readings. The gas area is going to be all in the street also. There's gas all within the street area. And this is the six inch cast iron main or yeah, it's marked right here, six inch CI. And here is the service line. So uh, looking uh, right here, you can see that there's gas going up here. This reading right here was 23 feet. And this is a continuously paved area over here. Uh, uh, a leak that really should be fixed not only for to save these trees uh, but for safety reasons and this is Melville Ave and I'll put that right in here so there you have a properly documented gas leak affecting trees and uh, checking for safety